Today we're talking all about my unfiltered thoughts on the bags that I've reviewed over the years. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and on this channel, we talk about everything from product reviews, bag reviews, and so much more. If you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. And if you're wondering what on earth is this video all about, my unfiltered thoughts about the bags that I reviewed before. Well, I've been a mom now for going on almost nine years, and throughout that time, I've become obsessed with bags, handbags, diaper bags, everything in between, and I have reviewed and shared hundreds of bag reviews on this channel. And I get the question often, hey, do you still have this bag? What do you think about that bag? And so this series focuses on what are my unfiltered thoughts years later? Do I still love them? Are some things I would change or I didn't like about them with continued use? So let's go ahead and jump right in. Before we jump into the video today, I did just want to give the disclaimer, what works best for me may not work best for you and vice versa. So no hard feelings. Let's go ahead and jump right in. 2020, what a year, right? The year of the beginning of the pandemic, a year that none of us could have ever anticipated in our wildest dreams. It has been absolutely crazy. And in that time, I put out a ton of videos because I was stuck at home just like the rest of you guys. So let's talk about what I talked about in 2020. The very first thing I talked about in 2020, November, was this little bag charm from 12 Little. I love 12 Little. I love the brand. I love all of their products. Um, this little bag charm is not only adorable, it's still available today, so I will be sure to link it down below. I have a discount code with them too. But I showed you 10 different ways to pack this little backpack, and I still have it to this day. <laughs> I actually have two of them. I have a black croc one and this little leopard print one, and they do have additional colors out right now. So go check them out. I think it's adorable. I've used it for AirPods, and again, I showed you 10 different ways on how I packed it, so I'll link that video down below. All right, the next bag I talked about in November 2020 is the Herschel Strand Sprout Tote. I'll put a picture of it right here. Um, I got this bag because I saw some really rave reviews on YouTube about it, and I had never heard of the brand, believe it or not. But once I discovered them, I found that they also collaborated with Hello Kitty. Look at this little belt bag. So cute, has a little Hello Kitty like logo on the outside, has her bow right here. Ah! And then look at the interior. It's all Hello Kitty faces. So needless to say, I have this adorable Hello Kitty fanny pack that I've never used. It still has the tag on it, I, but I had to um, return the tote. It just was not for me. I loved the interior. It was like a beautiful blue and white pinstripe. The outside was durable. But the materials just did not speak to me. It was made from kind of like a canvassy material. I don't know, it just wasn't my favorite. So I did return it. Hate to say, but yeah, it wasn't love. Okay, the last bag that I talked about in November, it was this guy. And funny enough, as we sit in, dis in November 2021, this bag has been re-released in a very similar print. Um, it is... The stars are a little bit more yellow, and I believe they're referring to it as an ombre star, and the interior is a bit different. But this one is the Small Metro Tote Deluxe in the star print, and the interior is just so pretty. It is so, so pretty. So naturally, yes, I do still have it. I love Imsy Wallace's seasonal prints. I have their Valentine's Day bag releases. They're just so, so nice, so versatile. This is what the inside looks like. This bag does come with a crossbody strap, and I think it's an adorable, adorable little size. I absolutely love it. I know people love the stars, and um, I do love this bag too. And I don't have anything super negative to say about it. Um, this bag is a year old, and this is what the quilting looks like after a year of it being used, of it being stored. I think it's in great shape. I mean, I don't see any pulls. I have no complaints, truly. And when I store it, I know some people cringe when I do this, but I just fold the bag down and I store it inside of the pouch that it comes with. It stores perfectly right in there, and then I just pop it in my other bag. All right, we're on to November of 2019. Let's jump in. The very first bag I wanna mention is the 12 Little On The Go. 
In the stripe print, I believe I actually shared this and then compared it to another bag. I'll be sure to link the video down below. But the 12 Little On The Go series is one of my absolute favorite. This is actually the midi size, so it's a medium size. They've come out over the last couple of years, they've come out with different sizes. There's a mini, a midsize, and a large. So this is actually a different size. Move into different sizes as my kids kind of move out of diapers and different things. But this bag is super cute. Quick overview. The material, some people love it, some people hate it. I tend to really like it because it's wipeable. Well, it's kind of like a coated material. Um, it's not fabric, like there's no texture on it. It's just smooth. But um, I like it. I love this bag for amusement parks, for travel. It has a little key fob in front here. The larger size comes with an extra pocket on the back for a laptop sleeve, has a place for you to hang stroller clips, insulated bottle pockets. On the inside, you have some more pockets, a change pad. I love these two little pockets on the top of the bag. I think it's great. And I think the bags hold up well over time. Best part is I feel like the price point is really, really spot on. I think it's a great price for what you get. For sure. The next bag is from Dagny Dover. It is the Medium Landon Carry All in the color Dune. I just sold it. <laughs> I just sold mine. But my mom has the small version and she left it with me so I thought I'd share at least what the bag looks like, what the style looks like. This is the small size and this is the exact color that I had. The medium one is a really great size for travel, for diaper bag. The small is more of a handbag size, which is what this is. Um, and the neoprene over time does hold up well. However, <laughs> they just redesigned their neoprene to be more eco-friendly. They have a new logo. So there are some differences in the newer bags. Let me show you one of their new pieces. Okay, so here is the brand new neoprene. This is the Mara Phone Sling. I just got it. It was part of their um, winter, fall, winter release. And the neoprene does feel different. If you're a Dagny Dover bag owner, will you tell me your thoughts on the differences? Um, this one feels, a, just, it feels a little more smooth. Hard to describe, to be honest with you. Um, but I, I did just want to make that note. When I reviewed the bag, it was made of this 1.0 ne uh, neoprene. So it is a different material, but it holds up over time. My mom used this bag in particular daily for almost two years. And um, there's a stain here or there, but the bag itself has no pilling or pulling and looks like it's in really great shape. I'm moving right along to 2018, shall we? In 2018, I had a baby. And for whatever reason, in November, I made no diaper bag videos at all. <laughs> so no, re no bag reviews in November 2018. So let's wind it back a couple more years. In 2017, I reviewed the Petunia Pickle Bottom Axis Backpack. And I reviewed that bag and then promptly returned it. It just was not, it just did not work for me. It had the intermix system with it, which has, if you're not familiar, I'll put a picture of it all um, on the screen here, but it has different little pouches and different little things. And I don't know, I just could not get that backpack to work well for me. So it did go back. And I have to be honest, I have just never ever had good luck with Petunia Pickle Bottom. Um, I don't know if I've told this story before, but my very first diaper bag ever, ever was the Petunia Pickle Bottom boxy backpack and I could not stand it. It was the, probably one of the worst backpacks. <laughs> I feel so bad saying that. But I could not, and, and it's probably changed over the years. This was like eight years ago. So it, I could not get in and out of it easy. And for that reason, I was like, no, I have a newborn. I'm a first time mom. I can barely get my hands in and out to get all the things out. Didn't pack well, turned my back on Petunia. So I kind of just turned away from Petunia Pickle Bottom. And I've never really gone back, to be honest. I just haven't had good luck. If you like Petunia Pickle Bottom, please tell me what your favorite style is in the comment box down below because maybe it's time to check them back out again. I don't know. You guys let me know. So there you go. There was a look through the years of the bags that I reviewed in November of 2020, 2019, 2018, and 2017. Phew! If you have any questions about any of those bags, drop them in the comment box down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I am more than happy to help out. And if you enjoyed this video and like this series, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I will see all of you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.